Lindgren, your fitness coach with Flow to Grow Fitness. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today because you're going to learn so much goodness. We are learning how to do abductions in three ways. So there's no excuse. In this video, I'm going to break down what the abduction exercise is, what it works, how it helps your body, and then I'm going to give you three exercises in which to do them because there's different ways to do them and there's three planes of motion. So I'm making sure I give you abduction exercises that hit in every plane of motion so you can maximize your workout results and have advanced trainer knowledge as a beginner. Yeah, show up to your friends. Please like this video if you haven't already to show your support and subscribe because I release two new videos every Monday and Wednesday and they're all on how to do workouts and structure your beginner's strength training journey. Let's get into the video. Okay, so what is the abduction and what does it work? The abduction is just a lateral or side movement and it just works your glutes, your hips, and your legs. So perfect exercise as a woman if you want to enhance your curves, if you want to prevent hip and knee injuries, and it also helps us move, stand, and rotate our legs. So you can really see that the abduction is an important movement and we basically use our abductors in everyday movement. So strengthen these up. We got three different variations so you can kill it. Okay, so we're gonna do the standing one first. Optional, you can use a band. If you do not have a band, you can do two different things. You can either do more reps until you experience fatigue, or you can even put a weight here if you have a dumbbell, a plate, anything you'd like. I'm placing the band right over my knees, not on my knees, not under my knees, not up in the middle of my thigh, right over my knees, okay? And if you have a weight, you're just going to hold the weight on the side of the working leg. Use something for balance if you need it. All right, you're seeing my whole apartment now because it's really important you see what my feet do. In your standing abduction exercise, hold onto a wall if you need it. If not, look at your heel. I want you to start by crossing your foot over your body like so, and I'm turning my heel to the side. So it's not a straight foot, it's slanted to the side. This will actually enhance that glute muscle more and you'll feel a deeper stretch. I want you to inhale by going over your first leg, exhale by coming out to the side, and I'm keeping that slant in my toe. So really just look at my toe and see how I'm working on keeping it pointing to the side. It's like your toes pointing in that direction. It's gonna make sure it really hits that medial glute. Now, I am feeling a really nice burn. If you don't have a band, it's going to look like this, same thing. You're pulling your toe over to the side and you're exhaling at that very end movement. It does not matter how far you go, you're just going until you feel your glute muscle engage. There's that nice side muscle right there in your glute. Mine is about right here. You wanna look from your glutes and find that side muscle to where your medial glute is engaged because that's all you're working with. Remember, you're crossing your foot over, keeping that slant, and you're exhaling at the top portion. Inhaling first, exhaling in. Now let's go over the sitting version. Sit all the way down, anything you can sit on, couch, chair, whatever you got. You're gonna place your band in the same area, right over your knees, not the thighs, not underneath, right over your knee. Make sure your back is straight as you lean forward. Grabbing onto the chair for extra support, hold your core in, exhale to come out, and inhale to come in. Again, if you do not have a band, you're just going to go till failure, and that means until your muscles are fatigued. So, high reps here, and it's a slow inhale, it's a hard, fast exhale, and a hold and a squeeze and I'm really letting my glutes drive the movement. Your legs are gonna to wanna to naturally take over. 
So make sure, instead of letting your legs open, as you inhale, allow your glute to squeeze to drive the movement out to the sides, okay? You're gonna do about, again, reps are gonna look different. If you have a band, maybe 12 reps. If you don't have a band, maybe 20, 30, 40 reps. You want to fatigue yourself, so make sure at the end of those reps you have a good burn, get a good rest, 30 seconds at most, and go right back into it again. You're looking at about three sets, high reps, 30 second rest in between. All right, let's do this lying down abduction. Lay on the ground all nice and cute. Get a mat, go ahead and go for it. If you have a band, you're gonna place it right here around your knees, but remember that the band is optional. You can also place a weight right on the side of your legs if that's all you have. So you're going to take the bottom leg out of the movement by just giving it a slight bend and allowing it to rest. So look at how I turned my foot. I just went from relaxed to turning my heel out. Just like in the standing abduction, we turned our heel that way out, we slanted our foot, same thing. It's going to target the muscle we're trying to work, which is that medial glute, which enhances your figure and protects you from injury. Okay, so you're gonna inhale coming down and you're gonna exhale, you're gonna come up just enough until you feel that glute muscle engage. And remember, you're driving the movement through your glutes. Really important is to pull the core into the spine, make sure it's engaged. And I'm already getting a really, really freaking good burn, so I'm not gonna do as many reps, but same thing, you wanna do about three sets, high reps, 30 second rest in between. But the hardest thing is, is really just keeping the foot in that direction. You wanna make sure that you get both sides, you have fun with it, and now you know how to do abductions in three different planes of motion. Go ahead and incorporate these in your workout routine. You can start as a warm up, as a burnout, or as a great accessory workout to your lower body day. These are really going to shape out some nice peaches, baby. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment right now which abduction exercise are you going to try? I would love to see how you are implementing on strengthening and shaping your hips and having the best life ever. And again, like if you haven't already, stay connected with me. I have a website at flowtogrowfitness.com where you can find all of my resources there for you to have the best guidance possible. I can't wait to connect with you more. And remember, Mondays and Wednesdays, I release two new videos every week. Perfect guide to your strength training journey. I'm so happy that you joined me and I'm just so excited for you. And I'll see you soon.